Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Desiree and today's look is going to be this Lisa Frank inspired white tiger. So if you want to see how I created this look, definitely keep on watching. First things first we're going to do is prep our face. So I am going to glue down my brows and add some primer on my face. So now that my face is prepped, I am going to use this MBM white cream base. I'm just going to use my finger to place this all over my eyelid. I am going to blend it out with my finger just to give me some warmth and make sure that it's a nice even coat. To start carving out my cut crease, I'm going to use the ColourPop color eyeliner and this one isn't black. And I'm just going to start following the shape of my eye. You guys can do the same, just make it fit for your eye. We are going to use the CoverGirl True Naked Smoky Palette and I'm going to use this dark, I think it's like slate gray. I'm just going to start blending that color on the line that I just created with the color pencil. And we're just going to keep blending that up until we get the blend that we want. Going back into the palette, I'm going to use this lightest shade here, which is like a highlighter shade, and I'm going to place that on my brow bone here, just to help blend in that gray as well. Taking a little bit more of the MBM white cream base, I am going to define my lid here and make sure that my lines are nice and clean. So then I'm going to use some setting powder and this one is from Mayron. It has a white tint to it and I'm just going to place this right on top of the cream just to make sure that nothing moves and it stays super white and opaque. Next I'm going to take a little pencil brush and this one is some Sigma. I'll place the number down below in the description box. And then we're just going to take a little bit of that dark slate color and start to define the lines a little bit more. We are going to take a blending brush and start to blend everything out just to make sure that our lines are blown out and not super straight and harsh. Giving the eyes a little bit of a break, I'm going to take the Mayron Aqua Color in white and I'm going to place a very thin layer of this white water-based cream all over my face. It does not have to be even, it does not have to be perfect, I will show you why in just a second. All right, as you can see, I'm very splotchy. It's not even. So to fix that, we're going to take some Mayron Clown White Cream Paint, and I'm just going to place this on the highest points of my face or wherever I want it to be a little bit more white. Please make sure that your paint underneath is actually fully dry before you try this trick. We're also going to take a semi-dry sponge and we're just going to start patting out this cream makeup. You don't want to drag it, you don't want to pick it up too much, so the patting motion is the best way to get a really nice blend as well as not to disrupt the paint underneath. So we're just going to do this everywhere where I place the cream paint and then set it. You can already see how much better my base looks with just applying a little bit of that cream makeup right on top of the water activated just to give it a nice blend. Now to set my entire face I'm going to use the Mayron Color Set Powder and it's just a very thin powder and again I'm using a patting motion. Do not rub this. It is going to disturb the makeup underneath. So just pat 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 and place this all over where you put the cream especially where you put the cream because you don't want anything to move. Using this lilac shadow from ColourPop, I am going to start mapping out my tiger-like shapes. So I'm going to be placing this around my nose to make my nose appear whiter. I am going to start to do the feral brow here. You can definitely look up pictures of white tigers or tigers in general and just kind of get an idea of the facial features. So that's just what I'm doing here is I'm looking at a reference photo here and then just kind of mapping out where I want my features to stand out and then just blending it out with that lilac color. Now we're moving on to a darker purple which is Poison Plum from Sugar Pill and I'm just going to do the exact same thing except only following along the edge of the line there and not blending it too far down just to give us a little bit of depth in all of the facial features here before we start applying our stripes. 
To highlight my entire face, I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetics Black Light Palette using that white shade. And I'm just going to be filling in all of the white pockets here just to give us a smooth finish. Now to finish off the eyes, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. liner in black and I'm just going to create some wing liners here. You can pretty much go as thick or as thin as you'd like, personal preference. But I am going to try and create a cat-like shape to my eye just to make my eyes look a little bit more elongated. And in this section here, we're going to be doing the same exact thing, just following those lines we created earlier just to make the eyes appear a little bit more cat-like shape. Alright, so now we're going to be moving on to the colorful portion of this look, which is the stripes. And yes, Kaya is here. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it definitely looks like this that I let her help me so she can practice on her line work. And it makes her really concentrate on what she's doing. So right here, we're just going from the darkest pink to, to orange. orange, and then yellow, green, blue, etc. We actually did use a reference photo, which is the Lisa Frank white tiger photo. And we're just kind of going through the motion here. I'm just showing her how to paint on other people, and she's just kind of following the guidelines that I set down for her. On um, Molly, I'm actually putting green paint on her, then it's going to turn into blue. Now it's, now it passed the blue, now it's actually purple. Yeah. Now I'm like putting a pink nose on her. <laughs> and then it was like a purple thing right there, like on the cat. Yeah. So now that we finished the lines, I am going to go in and add some detail to the pout of the mouth here. And, and, um, eh. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just gonna use a purple liner and I'm just gonna create little tiny lines and some dots just to make the mouth appear more cat like. Kaya's just like chilling in the background doing nothing. <laughs> what am I doing? I don't know. Being crazy. And now for some glitter, I'm taking the NYX Cosmetics Glitter Glue with some Gypsy Shrine Glitter and I'm just going to place this on some random areas around my face like my eyebrows here underneath my eyes, where my nose is, on my chin, and then some specks on my chest as well. So this detail here is very optional but I just applied some really tiny black dotting around the face here and just to tighten the dark eyes but you definitely do not have to do this part. Now to put the look together, we are going to put some contacts on and these are from Cameo Eyes and these are in the shade yellow. I'm just going to pop these in. Look at them. They look super cool. And then we're going to bop on, bop on, pop on some lashes. And that pretty much concludes my little Lisa Frank inspired white tiger. If you happen to recreate this look or a portion of this look, don't forget to tag us. As always, we hope to see you in our next video. We love you. Ciao.